It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Damn. Hello, hello, crazy souls. I have learned how to play the piano. I have fixed my life through meditation. I have changed my physical appearance and I have gotten better at singing. I have, well, I said better. No, no. I didn't say I got good. But now it is time to learn how to draw. This project is a little different because I feel like ever since I was little I've had this natural talent to draw. I'm not saying that I'm a great drawing artist because I'm not, I just never really put the time to develop that skill, that talent. But there was a talent there, it was easier for me to draw than it was for other people of my same age group at the time. And I actually did take an art class in university although I was sick very very sick the entire time actually i had to drop out of university to have a very delicate surgery done on me i had my colon removed so i never finished my studies i didn't really go too deep into the studies and practically everything i did learn i forgot or I, I, maybe i just never learned it because i was so sick the entire time that said there are probably some things that i still have in my subconscious from what i learned and like i said i did have that natural talent as a kid to draw and this is all just my way of saying and being transparent with you that i don't feel like for this project i'm starting from zero i'm not great at drawing particularly because i haven't really drawn all that much in my adult life and i've never really put a big effort into developing that talent. Before this project, the last time I actually tried to draw something well was like two years ago and it was this. Which is not ugly, it's not horrible, I mean there's... it's a cartoon and it's not horrible. But it's also not very impressive. And that's what I'm trying to go here. I'm, I'm trying to go from something that's like that's, that's, that's okay, yeah. but I, I want to go to from that to wow, you drew that? I can't believe it. Huh. What do you know? That's what I'm going for. I'm going to be taking two art classes at the same time to get down all the foundations, all the basics and to start developing the more advanced techniques as well. What you're seeing right now is my before drawing. This is the drawing that I made before starting this project just so that I could have a reference point so I will draw the same drawing at the end of this project to see all the progress. If I reach the end of the classes or whatever or I reach a point where I do this drawing again and I don't consider it to be impressive then I will just continue the project with other classes or whatever it takes to get to that impressive level. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest the drawing actually turned out much better than I anticipated. It's actually quite good for what I thought my talent was at this point. It's also like not amazing like there's still so much that I need to improve on but it's just better than I thought it would be. And just to show you what I will be doing these are the two classes I will be taking and both of them are just like I said for the basics and foundations and everything I need to start out. I decided to take two classes at the same time because I don't want to close myself to just one technique or, or one style of drawing or whatever and, and I feel like learning from two different artists will give me a more complete, a fuller learning experience. The Drawing Camp course by Cash gave me this little homework before starting the actual project so that I would have a before drawing. I didn't know there was this. Anyways, so now I have two before drawings. And here is that homework that I had to do. The cool thing about this one is that I had a limit of a half hour. So that's pretty cool too. And I will continue to be doing this same drawing throughout the course just to see my progress with it and the techniques and how better it gets. Hopefully, it gets better. To be quite frank, my main goal with this is just to see how good I can get at drawing if I actually put some effort into developing this talent. I truly believe that anyone who wants to learn how to draw, they can do it if they have the motivation and they actually put in the time to learn it. But as you have seen in my projects, there are some things that just come easier to us and some that <clears throat> we might struggle a bit more with. 
I just want to see what happens with a talent that I've neglected for most of my life. I want to see what happens if I actually give it the time that it deserves and I actually put some effort into getting better at it. I've always regretted not putting in the time to develop this talent as an artist, as a drawing person. And, uh, and now I don't have to regret it anymore, I can actually fix that. So let's fix that. Let's go. Day one, I just learned theory today in the character art school class. I think we start more practical stuff tomorrow, but what you are seeing right now is Sketches Drawing Camp class, where I learned some theory as well, but there was a lot of practical time as well. This is just the first day so as you can see I was just doing some lines, curves, circles, waves and some shapes. It was actually kind of relaxing and it got easier after a while. And to finish off we did some quick sketches without trying to be perfect, simply doing lines, curves, circles, you know, what I was practicing before but using that to form objects now. The main goal here is just to train the hand and get it used to the different movements and that requires a lot of practice and repetition. Like I said, the task was to draw freely but fast with no worries of being perfect. But I still think my sketches came out pretty good for my first day. Day 1. Day 2. In the character art class I was drawing shapes and doing exercises to form those shapes and to imagine them into 3. To be honest, I haven't really been studying these first two days as much as I had planned because as you might have noticed in my voice, I'm extremely sick, but <laughs> anyways, <laughs> we, we go on. In the drawing camp class, we did the same things as yesterday, but this time precision was important. The goal was to draw as perfectly as possible, but also not slow either. To finish off, we did some more drawings to practice, this time focusing a bit more on the lines and the details, and it didn't turn out as great today as it did yesterday, in my opinion. Although I do have the excuse that I am dying of this freaking flu, I hope it's the flu and not the other thing. Anyway, Anyway, day 2. Day 3. Today we did some exercises to improve our circles and ellipses to make them better and more consistent and just fluid. After that we practiced those same figures but molding them to sketch out some objects and mine turned out pretty ugly. Day 4. After finishing the module in the character art class they left me some homework to find an object then two references images to draw two times from the references and then to make a third drawing of that object but this time just using my imagination. The idea is to do that three times a week with two different objects to start building up a sort of library of objects in my mind and that way I can grow my ability to draw more and more things every time. On the other class I was doing squares, <laughs> lots and lots of squares and triangles and after that I had to do some random shapes formed with just lines. To finish up we started the image of a tiger to learn how to see basic shapes in every image and how to sort of calculate the proportions of an image. Day 5. Up until now I have explained a lot of the things I've done every day in class and I think it was good to start with of course but it's not something I can continue to do. First of all because these classes do cost money and well I would be happy to give this to you just for free. I don't think the creators of the classes would be very happy for me to continue repeating their entire classes for free. Second of all, I'm concerned that my summary might give off the impression that this is everything I do, but it doesn't really detail exactly everything I'm learning, nor everything I practice. And third of all, while I do feel good about my progress so far, I'm also aware that this is gonna take quite a long time to reach the level that I want to reach. So that's why from now on I will continue to show my progress of course and I will update you on very important things that I learn or just anything interesting that I may come across with along the way. Here is real quick what I did on day 6, taran taran, here you go, you're looking at it and there you saw it and <clears throat> now here we go, it's day 7, the first week I was given a project to draw this, applying everything I have learned so far and actually I'm pretty happy with what I've learned so far and I do think that I have improved, plus it's just the first week, so you know, let's just see 
how we keep going on this amazing beautiful journey Woo! it is day seven first week thank you Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness Day 15, half a month, baby boy. What? To be honest, I feel like I've learned quite a lot and I feel this fluidity while drawing that I've never felt before. Granted, some of the drawings you just saw look kind of ugly and rushed, and that's because they were rushed. I did those while doing this thing where they would put a picture on the screen and I would have to draw what I saw in less than two minutes because after the two minutes we went to the next picture. It's an exercise to help with that fluidity and to help with the speed at which you draw. And about the courses, I'm kind of only doing the cash drawing camp one. Well, I am doing the homework for the other one about drawing the mental library of obje objects. I just saw what comes next in the other course and so I, I really just don't have the time to do the drawing cap and what comes next and the library of objects all at the same time. So I bought another course that I'm about to start this one where you can draw in 30 days. It was uh, eight bucks on Amazon and it had good reviews. So that's pretty, pretty nice. What, you thought I was going to reduce? The courses? No! I'm taking three courses now, at the same time. I'm crazy. <laughs> Day 15. You're starting a new module on Kesha's drawing comp. This was the test drawing before the module, and these were the test drawings for the book I started. I had to draw this from my mind without looking at any reference at all. After this, the book does show and explain each step to create something that looks more professional. I've actually mostly been doing the book and the drawing comp, haven't really had much time to draw objects for my mental library. I'm learning to shade and draw more proportionately and in perspective obviously still learning but I, I think the drawings look pretty cool I especially love how this sketch turned out because it was my own creation with some reference of course and the techniques that I learned in the book but it came from my imagination I learn a little more every day and also try to implement what I've learned in previous days here I finally added some new objects to my mental library and these have been my favorite so far I'm not really sure why I, I, I wonder why I, am I like becoming a fan of fashion or something I don't know, they're, they're, they're beautiful looking bikinis I do have to say that my favorite course so far has been the book. I think it teaches things in a way more optimal way and order, without wasting any time. The book is extremely detailed, but at the same time only details important things. It also challenges you to use what you've learned in creative ways with fun tasks. I feel that Cash is a good artist with an interesting style, but he's just not a great teacher. Actually, I'm not sure if this is the case, but the lessons feel like he plans out the topic for the day, but then just improvises the actual lessons as he draws. He also wastes some time trying to be funny and sometimes struggles to explain what he's drawing and almost always uses techniques he hasn't yet covered in the course with minimal explanation. Anyway, I'm still enjoying the process and I'm learning a lot. This is actually really cool. I love it. Veins 
Cause I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I wanted to do something really special for day 30, the halfway mark and I, I didn't But day 32 and what is more special than drawing myself? So that's what I did. This was the first portrait of an actual human being that I've ever drawn and I, it's kind of amazing. I, I can't believe it. I mean, maybe you're harder to impress, but me, I'm super impressed with myself. And all that to say that, yes, I have reached the goal. I know I still have a lot to learn and to keep advancing and this is not something you just, you master in a couple of months. But I, I, I reached the goal. I drew something that is very very impressive it's insane like it almost looks professional doesn't it? well you don't have to answer that it looks kind of professional to me and really the only person i need to impress is myself but yeah this is amazing we have reached the goal and we will continue to learn because i'm really enjoying this and, and i want to continue learning and expanding this talent i i've always loved drawing and i always knew i could do it well if i really tried to and i guess i was right let's keep on going with some music and more drawings day 32 i won't stop till i hear him say and I didn't want to do any of the courses today I just wanted to draw something to be inspired and to be challenged by something so I found some references from things that I like and so I, I found these pictures and took reference from that and inspiration from that and I came up with this still not impressed who are you my dad i joke i joke i just i don't know i feel like i'm kind of becoming an artist or something i don't know let's keep going Day 43 and we are revisiting this drawing that came out kind of wonky it's it's ugly it's it's pretty bad okay actually to be honest it has very minor mistakes but it has a bunch of minor mistakes which add up to it being very deformed this sketch is probably my worst work during this project but it did teach me a lot, I learned a lot from it. No denying that I made mistakes, but I learned from them. Without failing with this sketch, I wouldn't have learned the necessary skills to do this one. And without having done these two sketches, I wouldn't have been able to reach the quality that I achieved with this one. And I know that I still have a lot to learn, I'm not delusional, but I, the progress is incredible. So let us see, let us try it again, my second attempt to draw this statue. Let's go. It is done and this time it came so much worse. How? I'm just kidding, here it is, it's still not perfect, I'm actually not gonna give you my opinion on it, I'm gonna let you be the judge of what progress there was, but here you go, here you go. 
I continue with the routine of doing one lesson from the book and one from Kesha's drawing camp and so I'm doing that uh, in the camp I'm learning to simplify more realistic images into more cartoonish like stuff in the book I'm doing perspective which I already learned in the drawing camp but it's good to repeat it because the key to master anything really is practice so here I am practicing more and more drawing the same person in different styles and with different shapes and stuff like that and of course with the book working with perspectives to very cool results which I am still enjoying far more the book because I feel like I learn a lot more and I get a lot better results like these faces they look pretty amazing to me the eye on the left also from the book the drawing on the right is actually from the drawing camp but it actually showcases one of my biggest difficulties which is proportions as you can see the legs are kind of tiny on the rest of the body it's something I gotta work on uh, but it's only been like like 50 days so I think it's pretty good result so far I mean just look at these hands one of the hardest things to draw hands and with this I actually finished the book so now I'm only doing the drawing camp actually this lesson was pretty boring so I decided to just draw something for fun so I drew this anime which it I turned out amazing I love it actually it still showcases kind of my proportion difficulty because her abdomen is kind of stretched out, but it still looks pretty good, I think. I'm kind of in love with this drawing. Any <clears throat> Anyways, let's continue with the drawing camp. The more cartoonish style type of things simplifying working with proportions and shapes and stuff like that it's pretty cool it's pretty cute and here i didn't want to waste a page on this little guy on the right so i put him next to the old man and i'm working with poses angles different variations weight and with that we reached day 55 and so i am done with the lessons for this project i am just going to draw for fun challenge myself to see how much i've learned so far and of course to do the after picture we have reached the end of this incredible journey. And did you think this adventure would end without me drawing the beautiful Camila Cabello? Please, it was inevitable. But I should have at least tried to prevent it. I should have stopped myself. For day 56, I drew Camila Cabello while well, I tried to. It turned out horrible, pretty deformed so so bad <laughs> i'm so sorry forgive me please camila please well if i'm not too hard on myself it's not that bad if we focus on parts individually for example i think the body looks nice even the face and arm don't look too bad the problem is the head is bigger than the torso and a little too much to the left making camila look like a monster the arm doesn't help either because if it wasn't bent it would probably reach the ground needless to say this drawing was a disappointment and a failure for me so much so that i bought a new book highly recommended by artists to see if i can correct my faults to correct my ways the book actually arrived already i haven't studied it yet but yeah, everything i bought for this project you can find on the description of this video for day 57 i drew myself again but this time as batman because i am batman i am vengeance actually that that's a secret so please don't 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 tell anyone what you can tell the whole world is that you are super impressed with my progress i mean i hope so because i'm i'm very impressed and i think it's incredible that i drew this Dude, what i'm not just good at fighting crime dressed as a bat i'm also good at drawing for day 58 i wanted to draw something cool something fun some cartoon like when i drew dexter with rick sanchez but the disappointment didn't let me i was too traumatized by my attempt to draw Camila Cabello, so to redeem myself and for the honor of Camila, I tried again. It was still not perfect, but it is undeniably much, much better. This time I was very, very careful with the proportions. I even used a ruler to measure this time. I guess I should have always done that but so far i've just drawn everything just by looking at it and as i said and i repeat still not perfect i know that but at least i'm not ashamed to make this drawing public near the end of this project day 59 is a bit anticlimactic because what can be better than a beautiful drawing of the beautiful camila cabello 
Honestly, like, I don't know. But alas, it was necessary to make this after drawing to see the comparison and to measure the difference with these parameters. The drawing could have been much better, but for this drawing I did have the limit of 30 minutes since that was the limit that I had with my first attempt. So I couldn't put too much detail into it and I also had to rush a bit and I actually did spend a little bit more than 30 minutes, but eh, whatever. That said, the difference is gigantic and the progress progress can be seen very clearly. But what truly matters is the final day. Today, day 60, I am lying to you. Today is day 61, I actually did my last drawing yesterday. I'm sorry for being such a liar. If I'm being completely honest, this final day has weighed on me since I began this project because I've just felt that my before drawing of Harley Quinn actually turned out pretty good. It's so much easier to show progress when something starts as a disaster or just as nothing. It's just clearer to see the difference between something that is bad versus something that is good than it is to see the difference between something that is good versus something that is very good. So the goal since that day has been to go from something good to something amazing because that's something that you can actually clearly see. So here I present to you the final result and I leave it up to you to decide whether I reach that goal or not. The initial goal of reaching an impressive level, I think most of you would agree with me that I achieved that a while ago. But at the end of the day, art is subjective and you may not actually like the route I've taken to get here and you may not even like the results, maybe you hate it. <laughs> Why? The important thing for me is that I feel more than satisfied that I did something I have wanted to do all my life and that the results were better than I actually expected. It was not only a successful project, it was a project that changed my life. Because when you learn to draw, you learn to see the world in a different way. The lines, the curves, the shadows, the things that I can't think of right now because they're escaping my mind. It's like when you've seen blurry all your life and then you wear glasses that allow you to see in high definition. Also, I feel like I fell in love with this medium. I, I can spend hours drawing without getting tired, although sometimes my shoulder hurts. And I want to keep learning and studying and improving in this for the rest of my life. Undoubtedly, I grew in ability and I grew as a person. I consider this to be my second most successful project so far. The most successful one I would have to say is the meditation one because that one actually fixed my life entire. But ironically, that's the video with the least amount of views. Selavi. But anyway, for this course, I not only invested my time, I also invested some money to buy paper and pencils and markers and other tools that I used along the way and of course, the courses that guided me in this journey. All of that can be found in the description of the video in case you're curious to see deeper into everything I got for this project or if you want to buy it yourself. The course I recommend the most is this book. I really, really love that the drawing cap with cash. It teaches more stuff, but this teaches things way better and you get to see results much faster with this. It was also very cheap. I don't know if I got a deal on that or not, or but it was $8, $8. It's so valuable. I don't think it's a secret that I didn't like the drawing cap very much, but I am going to finish it partly because ironically, it was the most expensive of the three and although it doesn't teach things as well it still does teach things and i have still learned a lot the other course i just didn't study long enough to say whether it's better or worse but what i did study from it i found very valuable and actually <laughs> wish i had stuck with that one instead of the drawing card but I digress. I hope you have enjoyed this adventure with me and that it has inspired you to draw or to just try that thing that you've wanted to try all your life and just haven't given your time to. I'm just here to tickle your soul, to grow every day and to inspire you towards perpetual growth. See you later. Bye.